Aries and welcome to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. I am here to do a collective reading for you to see what's going on um, for you in the rest of the month of December. Okay? This reading is for the collective so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. If it does resonate with you and you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and help my channel grow. And um, yeah, if you'd like to make a donation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. I always, I always muddle that one up. And uh, this channel's for adults only too, by the way. So if you're not acquainted with me yet, I am a flash reader. So I, I give intuitive readings. So today in, in the pre-shuffle, I shuffled your cards and I'm just gonna use this deck as your, as your overall energy, all right? Um, and I see that you or, or your partner, someone, um, is wanting to fix something. However, they may not know how to do it. So a temporary fix just to buy some time or figure out a better way to do it, but they want to at least try to fix this with something. And the only thing they have is scotch tape, okay? But they want to give it a go. Um, they want to try to fix this. However, it could be a temporary fix. Just wanted to let you know. Because somebody feels like they're in the hot seat. They really feel like things are heating up quite a bit. Um, they may feel angry. They may feel panicky. Um, but yeah, things are in the hot seat, meaning they got to speed something up. They got to do something about this. What do they want to do? Put some tape on it, you know, until they figure out how to fix it permanently. Okay. Um, yeah, this is here you are, Aries. Right? You could be dealing with another Aries as well, but um, here you are wanting to, you're at a zero. So there's been a completion, okay? There's been a completion of something. Um, but this is taking a new, this is taking a leap of faith into a new beginning, all right? This is wanting to go on a brand new journey. You want to, you want to start something, you know, um, an, an adventure, not really knowing what to expect, right? not having a, a any kind of foothold into anything here but wanting to just step off and trusting that everything is going to be wonderful all right holding this this rose here it's almost like a remembrance of the things that have happened in your past and you're like saying a final goodbye before you go but um but yeah or someone could feel like a complete and other, an utter fool too. I mean, take it however it resonates for you. But I'm just seeing this as you wanting to take a leap of faith, right? Brand new beginning. Wanting to take some action here. Or you could be dealing with another fire sign as well. But um, wanting to go after what you want with a passion, all right? He's all about action. However, this could also mean that someone has a wand and they want to use it as the male phallic in order to be intimate. May wanting may wanting to be quiet, may keeping be quick have the blah. Sorry, I've been stuttering tonight. Like what the heck? They may be wanting to keep quiet about something. Very, very quiet. But this could also be a personality trait here. Um but yeah, I just see, I see if you're starting something new, I definitely see you starting something new. I see you possibly staying on the down low about it, but very, very focused on this new beginning, very, very passionate about this new beginning, and you're going to, you're going to give it your all. I, I also see you being in the Empress um, energy here. Um once again keeping quiet about about all of this <laughs> the empress doesn't speak you know and she's every queen in the deck you carry the attributes of every queen in the deck right here um and she's taking care of her own stuff she rocks her own world she rocks her own shit you know what i mean and she rocks it like she's she's really awesome 
but she doesn't speak either. I feel like whatever these new plans are that you have, whatever this new adventure is, what, whatever it is that you're gonna take a leap and go after with a passion, you're not telling anybody about it. And you're letting your intuition kind of guard, right now your heart, it feels like it's guarded right now. This feels like stone, but it's not. This is a key and the key is the divine. That's what I'm seeing this as. The key is the divine. It's almost like a safe. It's almost like you've got your, your heart locked up safe. And you're just very spiritual. And you're letting the divine kind of keep you safe as you step off into this beautiful new venture. You're not talking about it, though. You're like, no, 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 no. I don't need to talk about it. It's not like you're keeping it secret, secret. It's just that you're not, you're just not spreading it around. You don't feel like talking about it. You don't think it's necessary. Maybe in a way you want to keep it secret from someone. You could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Gemini. But what, what goes around comes around here you were very burdened or somebody was very burdened couldn't couldn't stand the burdens of this anymore so perhaps um perhaps what what goes around comes around is now you're not burdened but maybe someone else is um deceptive energy here this is somebody who does a very selfish thing and like stabs somebody in the back and doesn't care how they feel about it and just, you know, leaves this person for dead, bleeding out, and they have a smirk on their face. They think it's funny. They think it's okay to do that. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is somebody who went within, perhaps, and thought about what they did. You know, I feel like you're having a new beginning here, and while you're having, the, you're like, I'm having a new beginning. I'm breaking free from whoever did this to you. That's how I'm feeling, Aries. Or it could be the other way around. Take it however it resonates. But I feel like you're breaking free and you're and that's part of what's fueling your passion is what what you had to learn from this from the past. This is somebody who isn't speaking either. Like no one here is talking. This is someone who goes within, kind of just curls up goes inside to think about things, try to see where the crap they're going and what's in their way. You know, what do they keep tripping over along this dark path? And probably this, stepping in the pools of blood that they created, I don't know. All right, Aries, what are you dealing with here? Yeah, so you're like, forget it, I'm Audi, okay? <laughs> You're like, I'm Audi, but I have love for you. I have love for you. We shared something together. Here's a rose's remembrance. I'm gone by. See ya. Yeah, and this person, once again, more, more deceit, lies, stealing, thieving, coming in to take whatever they can and get away with it. This person wants to get away with something here as you go about your new journey. Or this could be you. Wanting to get away with it and running away. I'm not seeing that though. I'm really not. I gotta say. I'm seeing as you go off into something new. Somebody who, somebody who is pretty horrible to you. Um, wants to try to steal their way back in. Yeah, maybe sending you passionate messages. Like flirty, funny, jokey. They may be trying to schmooze you a little bit. Um, you, you may see right through it that this is very immature. This could be somebody that you had out in the cold or had you out in the cold, maybe begging for scraps of attention. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm hearing somebody come down the stairs and there's no one coming down the stairs. So it <laughs> That happens a lot here, I'm telling you. Um, all right, clarify the King of Wands here for me, please, for Aries. 
Yeah, it seems like you weren't dealing with a very good person, but you're like, you're, you're rising above that now. Well, especially in the Empress energy here. Yeah, the situation's under judgment because they, they did this to an Empress. She is connected to the divine too as well. Highly, highly intuitive. Here's that flower, see? You had that flower that whole time. Ta-da! The same flower, man. You're going to take that flower and just kind of let it blow away in the wind as you skip off into, into a new adventure. Because, you know, the, the, I think the divine has your back on this one. This situation's under judgment. This person's under judgment for what they did to an empress. Yeah, that's... Wow, well that's clarifying. This King of Wands here, it's this guy. He might have even, uh, this is the person most likely. You're running away from him here, giving him this rose while he stand, sits here and wants to use this to bang maybe. Yeah, okay, sorry. I retract my beginning statement about this King of Wands here. I thought maybe it was you wanting to move forward and take passionate action into something that you felt great about, right? but you were keeping it on the down low. I do feel that in your energy. I really do. I feel like you're not telling anybody about your plans, right? But here's that flower here. You're sending that off as like a tribute, a goodbye. I, ha I cared for you. I nurtured you. I loved you, but I can't do this anymore. That's what you're saying to this guy, this king of wands, the ones, the one who possibly used this male phallic in order to bang. All right, maybe schmoozed you. Is so he's a very flirtatious, passionate, um, romantic-y kind of man, but only because of this wand, really. He does take passionate action, but I feel like this person is this person. And you want to get the heck away from them. And that's why this dude's under judgment. Because it's the same guy. They messed with an empress. That's a no-no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Here you are. Empress, empress. They messed with the empress. I don't even need to... Yeah. I don't need to clarify that. What is the central focus here for this reading, for this person? Yeah, they want to get back together. A, a reunitement. Uh, well, I've been picked on because I don't call it a reunion. So I, I'm very comfortable calling it a reunitement. So they want a reunitement. And this is like a marriage too. This is, this is building a strong foundation. Okay, these are people coming together, a happy union, all right? You could even, this could even be um, a same-sex um, relationship here. But yeah, they're, the central focus here so far, I think this person here, they um, possible commitment and reunitement. I've got to be me. i got to be me. I say reunitement, you know? Screw it whatever yeah they want they want a victory in this somebody wants a victory in this okay however however we've got lies deception sabotage ruthlessness ruthlessness um this is really shitty character of a person right here okay and this can stand for a third party situation. So perhaps they had you in a third party situation or they want to. They want you to pour your love back into them. However, this is either their cup pouring into or somebody else's. I see three here and that's kind of a red flag, but it's also a celebratory card. You know, the Three of Cups gets a bad rap because it's a three, but it actually stands for happy times, celebrations, and people coming together like we saw in the Four of Wands just now. And they want this victory as soon as humanly possible, as fast as they can get it. Somebody's coming in with fast forward movement. You could be dealing with a cancer. 
um, but they're coming in someone's coming in and this the chariot cannot be stopped you you could lay down in front of it but they're going to run you over they're going to barrel over anything that's in its way that's the kind of energy with this and that's the card for cancer okay that driving force yeah and if you are dealing with the cancer i can tell you that driving force, they, you know, when a cancer gets in this kind of, you know, mindset, they will, they will barrel through anything they have to, to have victory in whatever they want, all right? They just have to get in that energy. Yeah, this person seems to want a commitment. They, seems, they seem to want a commitment with this empress here, which I feel is you, but this tower's coming down, or perhaps this person's already committed, and that's coming down. Let's find out. I'm going to pull some clarifiers on this one. Clarify the tower and the ten of pentacles, please. Tower and the ten of pentacles. I'm feeling it's a commitment that's kind of coming down. I'm wondering if this person over here, this one that kind of screwed you over, all right? Either you did this to someone or someone did this to you. Um, but yeah, this person was freaking horrible. Horrible. I mean, possibly stole from you. Lies, deception, stabbing you in the back leaving you for dead, laughing about it, like they didn't have a reason to do it, they just knew that they could. That's either you, Aries, or your person. Take it however it resonates. But this is horrible. And now they want a victory and, and a happy celebration. Because you're an empress now. And you're leaving. You're leaving. That's what it is. You're leaving. And all you're giving them is, a, is that flower that you've always held for them. They don't like the fact you're leaving, so here they come. Ay, ay, ay. Justice. This, yeah, justice in this situation. <laughs> I'm going to take this in reverse. Um, yeah, this page of wands. This, they're realizing here that you're, you're the empress. You're not going to, the Empress doesn't waste her time on people. They, she doesn't allow others to waste her time. She doesn't play games. She doesn't long for the past. She's, she's learned all of her life lessons here. Maybe not all of them. There's always more to learn. Come on. But I mean, to this point, she knows enough about the situation to, to use discernment for sure. And she's not going to relive any other crap that she's worthy of everything so she's not lowering her standards for this kind of energy it's not happening okay um so <laughs> the justice is this wand that was ever so hard and upright before now because of all of this that's going on and they're realizing they can't have you back and they and this commitment if they're in a commitment that's shattering too now that hard one just went <laughs> page of wands is immature energy okay there's not going to be right now no one's communicating there's not going to be any forward action in this no one's going to be playful or flirtatious the justice is that energy is fairly blocked right now because they're the, the divine is bringing a tower down for this person and they need to deal with the tower and the reasons for the tower before they can use this big stick as anything useful. So the divine is making it so they can't use it at all right now. Not until they figure out this stuff. At least that's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> Either there's not going to be a, a passionate message or any kind of action taken or somebody just isn't able to use that male phallic. Yeah, somebody's been really, really slow about this. They want to come in and make an offer to you. Um, but this is the slowest moving night in the deck, okay? Um, 
However, this is the most reliable one. This dude actually makes it to the finish line and sticks around. The other knights don't have staying power, okay? Um, and he brings a gift or an offer of stability. I'm guessing a commitment. The commitment came down and, and the tower's coming down and the commitment that this person has right now, okay? This is the present. Um, right now, the tower's coming down on that commitment, so they want to bring their their offer of stability and a possible commitment to you, Aries. Okay. Oh, that's right. He was in reverse. We'll keep him in. <laughs> we'll keep that big boy down for a little bit. But yeah, that's what this person wants now. He is just a knight. And I, I believe that, uh, well, actually, hmm, possibly the justice here, too, is this could be a new person, but I don't know. This Knight of Pentacles is moving real slow, real slow on this offer, but it could be because the chariot moves in quickly. Hmm. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. I, I'm sorry. I should probably include you in on this info, but I feel like you might have someone new coming to off make an offer of stability to you, like a date, a new relationship, building something in t with time, that kind of thing, doing the right thing, because this is actually the right night, okay? Um, and that could be the justice for this dude over here. Dare I even call him a dude at this point? I don't know what I don't know what a person is if they're gonna do all this kind of crap to somebody who's an empress. You know, I don't know what that is. Only you can say what that is. But maybe that is the justice in this, a brand new love offer from someone new. Let's find out. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for me, please. For Aries for the month of December. Oh, okay, yeah, well, this is a lover situation. However, this, if this is someone new, Aries, this is going to be a love connection, like, seriously, a, a major connection, like you've never, ever had before. It's going to be div divinely guided here. Um, it's going to be like you, like you two are just so well suited for each other and perfect for each other they're going to be you'll be able to communicate with this this person it'll be like a dream okay the probably the best relationship you could have possibly had if this is someone new coming to make you an offer that would be excellent justice in all of this after getting duped hardcore as an empress yes now if it's not uh, if it's not who I think it is, I think this is somebody new coming through. That's your justice. If it's not, though, if it's some this person from your past, this it could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. Okay, which definitely has its ups and downs, its its pulls, its pushes, right? It's run, it's runners and chasers. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy, and the Divine Masculine have sabotaged a lot, learning their lessons. But honestly, Aries, I have to say, I really think this is somebody new coming to you, and if it is, it's going to blow your freaking mind. Um, yes, King of Cups. We, aren't, we are no longer dealing with a King of Wands who just wants to use this as a male phallic in order to be intimate. No, no. This is someone new. Possible, look for a possible water sign. Doesn't have to be, though. This is someone who has a ton of love. Okay, but this is a different king. This is someone who has a ton of love inside, or will, but he's not going to show it right away. He's gonna, he doesn't keep his, his emotions on his sleeve, okay? He's very, um, I, he's very controlled over his emotions as a king. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be somebody completely new entering the picture here, and that's your justice. <laughs> I'm 
horrible. Aren't I just not as bad as that dude, though? Not as bad as that. All right, so what is um, the possible outcome here for Aries in the month of December? I really feel like you've got, you're going to have a whole new love, Aries. While someone just starts realizing what they did and wants victory and starts coming in, riding in fast and hot. Um, boy, they're coming in right when this new person's coming in. I got to warn you on that one. Uh, yeah, and it's going to cause a bit of a hurricane. All right. There, it, this is going to, I think this is going to happen. There, This deception, this deceitful guy, he's going to come in as fast and as hardcore as he can for victory right when this new person comes in for love. Okay? I think that's what's going to happen. And it's going to cause, like, a lot of turbulence. A lot of turbulence. But you have you have someone new. I think it's really if this is the King of Cups, somebody new, you really need to be patient and kind of be open. That's what I'm feeling anyway. I mean, you don't have to be. Don't I'm no counselor. Don't listen to me. I'm just playing cards. But I mean, I don't know. That's just what I would do. All right. What's the possible outcome? Yeah, winter though. Yeah, December, January, okay? Um, December, this December, January, but somebody's not going to know what what way to take. He's very deceptive, this person from your past, and I think they really screwed you over. And you do have a history with this person. This new one, you don't really know that well, and they're not going to be showing you their emotions the way you might need them to right now. <laughs> Because, like I said, he's very controlled. Like I said, he's very controlled with his emotions. Even though, um, even though he's got tons of emotion. He'll have tons of emotion for you on the inside. I think you're not going to know which way to go. I think they're both deceptive in their own right. Only the King of Cups doesn't mean to be. And this guy is too good at being deceptive. That's their whole, that's been their whole M.O. this whole time. So, you, they're, you're, uh, it's going to be tricky for you, I think, Aries. It's going to be tricky. I think they're going to try to deceive you again. They're trying to get away with something. Seven, it, was, it was the Seven of Swords here. They're trying to get away with it. But the light is going to be shed on a great many things for you in December over this. All right. I'm running out of batteries. So, yeah. Somebody feels like they might get stung, scared, feeling segmented. You're going to feel all that. You're going to feel scared. You're going to feel like this, you, somebody may hurt you, right? At your heart. I mean, like feeling like you get stung. And look, just try to stay calm and and use your intuition. Um, what else can you show me? Yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah. All right, Aries, I hope that helped. In, in the month of December, though, towards the end, <laughs> you're got, you have a lot of action coming your way. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. You have a lot of action coming your way. You're going to be faced with a choice. You know, it's okay. It's all right. Stay calm. Okay? The light will be shed on this stuff. It'll help you figure it out, which way to go. All right? Aries, I'm so sorry about that. Listen... My battery died. I hope you didn't miss anything important here. But yeah, um, it, you, there's going to be turbulence turbulence in, in December, but it's all right. It's going to be okay. Just don't panic. <laughs> I'm actually super excited for you because you've got a big chance for justice here, Aries, to get your justice for what's been done to you, okay? Yeah. That's how I feel. Either you or your person. Take it however it resonates. 
all right it's just things have to get blown up a little bit but it'll all be better okay all right Aries Yee. good for you okay cool happy December Merry Christmas and um, peace out <laughs>